calls for justice across the country after a Kansas City teen went to the wrong home to pick up his younger brothers, and the homeowner shot him. 16-year-old Ralph Yarrow is recovering in the hospital in stable condition. His family describes him as a typical high schooler who loves to play the bass clarinet. He has been looking forward to starting college and majoring in chemical engineering. Police say Yarl's family say that he was uh, given the address 115th Terrace, but he mistakenly went to a home at 115th Street instead. The shooter has been released, and there is sparking protest nationwide right now and outrage nationwide. Since Camilla Bernal, live for us in Los Angeles with more on this. Good morning to you, Camilla. What is the status on this investigation? Good morning, Don. Uh, authorities say more is needed to go forward, and they need a statement from Ralph Jarl. Uh, he is doing well. He's in the hospital. He's recovering. But the family says that it, this is a long road, especially when it comes to his mental and his emotional health. This is a teenager that is being described as friendly and well-mannered. He loves music, and the family says plays multiple instruments, always had one in hand. He was dreaming about graduating and going to West Africa. All of this, of course, is going to be a lot more difficult now because he went to 115th Street instead of Terrace. He was just a block away from his brothers when he was shot. The Kansas City community protesting on Sunday after 16-year-old Ralph Yarrow was shot as he was trying to pick up his siblings last week. Police say Jarl accidentally went to the wrong address, where he was shot and seriously wounded by the homeowner. Officers arrived at the scene after a neighbor called 911 and took the homeowner immediately into custody. Our heart goes out to the juvenile victim and more than anything to make sure that this child uh, and this child's family knows that there are people working hard, a number of people working hard to make sure there is justice for this person. The homeowner, who has not been identified, was released after 24 hours pending further investigation. The police department says they're waiting to obtain a formal statement from the victim and further forensic evidence. I want everyone to know that I'm listening and I understand the concern that, that we are receiving from the community. The information that we have now, it does not say that, that it's racially motivated. That's still an active investigation. But as a chief of police, I do recognize the racial components of this case. I do recognize and understand um, the community's concern. Jarl's aunt says her nephew loves music and is a section leader in his marching band. She says his goal is to attend Texas A&M University to study chemical engineering. Civil rights attorneys Lee Merritt and Benjamin Crump are representing the victim and his family and demanding swift action and are calling the shooting horrendous and unjustifiable. As a mother of three children, this enrages me. And protesters gathering Sunday outside the home where Yara was shot, demanding justice. He is alive. <laughs> he is healing. Yes. So I just want to tell you thank you for being here because my nephew is alive. And the homeowner was released. State law says you either have to charge someone or release them after 24 hours. And authorities here say they need more evidence. They want to talk to this teenager and they want to continue this investigation. So he was released. And it's part of the reason why people are so upset this morning and why they're asking for justice. Don. A lot more to unfold in this investigation. Thank you, Camilla Bernal.